for the first time ever in our history that we are welcoming Dr. Jeff Orge, who got a new job yesterday as president of the Gateway Seminary in the state of California. Would you welcome him today to the platform? Thank you, Dr. Floyd. Thank you, Southern Baptist, for the opportunity to report to you for the first time as the president of Gateway Seminary of the Southern Baptist Convention. Gateway Seminary will soon finalize one of the most significant relocations of any seminary in American history. Today, actually today, the first moving trucks transporting our equipment from Northern California are being unloaded in Ontario, and starting next Monday, we will move into our new primary campus near Los Angeles. We will open that campus on July 5th and be ready to go as Gateway Seminary. By the end of this year, we will have two new campuses in Ontario and Fremont, California to anchor our work on the West Coast. We will have relocated dozens of families, employed about 50 new people, created two new student bodies, transitioned all technological functions, opened new student housing, created new student housing options, established a new organizational plan, implemented a new staff compensation strategy, and launched one new academic program, to say the least. It's been quite a ride over these past two years. Amazingly, God has enabled us to do this without rancor, conflict, or division. The Gateway family has demonstrated remarkable mission discipline, institutional humility, personal sacrifice, and divine patience. Former employees are ending service graciously. New employees are taking on new tasks with enthusiasm and relocating employees are experiencing God's blessings as they find houses, churches, schools, and jobs for their, uh, uh, for their spouses. Students are also demonstrating resiliency through the process. New students have continued to enroll throughout the relocation, and we have a scholarship program to help students transfer with us from Northern to Southern California. Students have used creative ways to move forward during the relocation, using our online program, our regional campus system, intensive classes, and semester-based classes to continue their education. Now, while the Mill Valley campus has declined as closure has become, become imminent, the seminary's overall enrollment has remained steady despite all these changes. This progress, while largely positive, has not come without costs. The spiritual, emotional, and financial toil on our employees and students has been significant. The remarkable response so many has ma have made does not discount the difficulty they have been through. Our employees and students have been remarkable models of the truth, the mission matters most. While they have made this determined choice, it has not been easy. Our employees and our students who have made this great transition possible are the heroes of the relocation process, and I salute them this morning for their hard work. <laughs> Behind the scenes, many employees have worked, but I single out this morning the vice presidents of Golden Gate, now Gateway Seminary. Gary Grote, Michael Martin, Adam Groza, Ben Skog and Tom Hickson have in essence worked two full-time jobs these past three years, leading one of the ten largest seminaries in the Southern Baptist Convention, or excuse me, in the United States of America, and then also creating another seminary at the same time. I salute these men, my partners in ministry, to make this accomplishment successful. A major part of the relocation effort has been the construction of new facilities. When we conclude the construction projects, we will own two debt-free campuses in prime locations in California worth over $52 million. We will also own a development lot in Ontario worth $4 million. We will own a building in Brea, California worth about $4 million. We will own two student apartment complexes worth over $8 million and the new Casey and Doris Deshawn Missionary and Residence House in Ontario worth about $500,000. Gateway Seminary now owns about $70 million in real estate, 
without any deferred maintenance designed for ministry in the 21st century and all debt free. Besides this, Gateway has also added $40 million to our permanent endowment, increasing our endowment to about $65 million. God has multiplied the $85 million we received from the sale of the Mill Valley campus property to over $100 million in assets for future use. When we first considered moving the seminary, we naturally asked the question, what kind of campus should we build? Should we build a traditional campus or one more suited to ministry in the 21st century? When we boil down being a seminary to its core, only three things are required to accomplish our mission, a student, a teacher, and a means for them to communicate. After much deliberation, we determined we needed a campus with classrooms, faculty offices, administrative offices, library, chapel, and community gathering space. We decided to limit our, facilities, our campus facilities to these essential functions, all linked and powered by 21st century educational technology. Now you might ask, what about other buildings like gyms, swimming pools, exercise rooms, childcare centers, bookstores, dining halls, maintenance buildings, and other similar facilities? While other schools may have them, we determine they are not necessary for accomplishing our mission, and building something just to keep up with the Joneses was not a strategic option. Besides these functional questions, we also asked the stewardship question about using the money on these kinds of facilities. If these facilities are not essential to our mission, even if we could raise the money, should we build them? The answer for us was no. When millions of people have not yet heard the name of Jesus Christ and our mission force is being slashed, Gateway has chosen to model frugality and simplicity to prioritize future resources for global missions. Our tuition will be kept low and our resources will be focused not on facilities but on students and programs in the next few years. Southern Baptist, today Gateway Seminary is built on the foundation of Golden Gate Seminary, healthier than any time in our history. We are battle-tested and ready to go forward. We thank you for your support, your gifts over the years, and your prayers. Keep sending us your students and thank you for all you've done to make this relocation possible. Thank you, Dr. Orge. Do we have any questions on the floor for this president of Gateway Seminary? There are no questions. We have no questions. Would Southern Baptists once again give appreciation to Dr. Jeff Orge and the Gateway Seminary? Thank you, my brother.